Some growing pains knows today will be a very tough test against the number two team in the nation, the Yukon Huskies. Pretty good when your point guard's jumping it up. Sanaya Rivers jumping up against Aaliyah Edwards, and it was Rivers who got her hand on it, but Beckers who controls. You see NC State starting out in man-to-man. -man. That's their bread and butter, what they will play primarily on the defensive end. Here is Ford connecting on a three. She had 32 last year against NC State. Not only a three, a deep three. Easy flood and Paige Beckers hoping for a long run of action together on the floor. Something they have not had a lot of. Just the 16th game, those two playing together. Fudd and Beckers. Got locked down to five. Good hedge there from Edwards. Nowhere to go for Rivers. Gives it up. Shot clock is going to expire. Aaliyah Edwards is an outstanding perimeter defender. You saw her edge out. Take a look at the UConn starting five. Nika Mule, back-to-back -back defensive players of the year in the Big East. As Edwards showing off that mid-range touch. Holly talking about everything Edwards could do on the floor to make an impact. And we see it defensively and offensively right away. A 5-0 start for Connecticut. Here's James curling into the paint and banking it home. That's a tough bucket from a fired up Isaiah James. Right down the floor, Fudd misses the layup. And Collins, let's squeeze it in, and Edwards the rebound. Collins, though, has the size and strength advantage over Ducharme, who's playing the forward position. Here's Mule, kicking it out, Fudd. Back iron, no, look good again, though, from AZ Fudd. Wes Moore was telling us just how quick the release was, especially in transition last year, and still having nightmares about it. Ducharme back door, Becker's extra feed, Edwards couldn't finish it. Rivers was there for the contest. Yeah, Rivers saved what could have been an easy layup for Edwards. Hayes gets it into James, can't get the leaner to drop, and Becker's the rebound, Connecticut looking to push. Here's Edwards, swivels around, gets the whistle on Baldwin. Gino Oriema leading Connecticut for the 39th season. 1,181 wins. And Westmore has done an outstanding job, a fixture now here at NC State. His 11th season, the three-time ACC Coach of the Year. His team has been to six straight NCAA tournaments. A double overtime Connecticut win to send them to their 14th straight Final Four. Beckers coming up with a steal. Gets it ahead to Newell. Three on two. Bud back to Beckers. Thought about the three. Did not take it. Now Beckers veers around Hayes and finishes. Plus the foul. A chance for three for Paige Beckers. Using that stronger frame to get inside the lane. And Beckers completes the three-point play. Holly? Well, Rebecca, you talk about her frame. Her high school coach used to call her olive oil. She reminded me of that today. <laughs> she doesn't look like that anymore. She's more Popeye. She's added about 15 pounds to her frame. She said, I've never felt such confidence in my strength and my body. Here is Beckers. Off to do charm. Edwards. Mule takes the three and knocks it down. It'll be a long two. Eleven four start for Connecticut. Rivers elevates and gets it to go. That is a difficult shot from Sanaya Rivers. Mule around the Edwards screen. Scoops it in, plus the foul. A chance for three for Nika Mule. Isaiah James, her second personal. So Wes Moore has to check out James. And in from Zoe Brooks, a freshman that this town is very excited about. And number nine overall recruit, according to our ESPN rankings. The number four guard has a poise and a presence to him.
Dishes off to Hayes, who carries the three. There to take another step towards the ball handler and then delivered perfectly. Backers, the pull up, won't go. Rivers the rebound. Pushing pace for NC State. Rivers flicks it ahead. Hayes kicks it out. Brooks can't scoop it in. Collins keeps it alive and gets fouled. Good work on the offensive glass from Mimi Collins. Uh, Connecticut won as Collins hits the free throw. Nice response here from NC State after UConn got out of the gates very quickly. Really important for NC State in this game to take care of the basketball. Connecticut already has seven points off of turnovers. Also important for them to get these second opportunities. So it's a great triple hunter we have going on today. Becker's back door lays it in on the delivery from Edwards. South. So South Carolina beat Maryland. And the opener of our triple hitter. You watch her for a minute and you can see she's a unquestioned pro in the making as Beckers gets the whistle against on River. And Connecticut is in the bonus with 408 still remaining in this first quarter. Beckers, a preseason All-American. It's the first free throw. Talking with Gino Oriema before the game about Paige and ways in which she still may have improved despite all the missed time. And he said, definitely stronger, which we know Holly detailed earlier and probably will some more throughout the afternoon. Said she's also more mature. I saw her a couple of weeks ago, and it's the first thing I noticed. She yeah. is visibly bigger and stronger. Aubrey Griffin in off the bench for Connecticut. Here's Brooks committed to the air. Was able to get it out of her hand. Shot clock down to seven. Rivers three. Back iron no. Another offensive rebound for the Wolfpack. That was one of Gino Oriamba's concerns coming into this season is how do they replace the rebounding of Dorka Juhas? Aubrey Griffin in the game for Caroline Ducharme. After picking up her first personal foul and into the game comes K.K. Arnold. Number six ranked recruit according to ESPN in the 2023 class. I've seen it on both ends of the floor here. Just waiting, times it perfectly, gets the long left arm up for the block. And then on the inbound, Edwards gets chucked. 16.6 points per game, nine rebounds. You see the double doubles after she didn't have a single double double. She elects to go into the WNBA draft, can stay for another season. Lacey Steele in for NC State. Brooks off the delivery from Steele. Floats it in. Nice patience. Man. Aubrey Griffin, KK Arnold, Aliyah Edwards, and Caden Samuels. Samuels, another freshman, as Edwards storms in for another layup. Seven points in this opening quarter for Aliyah Edwards. She's gotten so good when she catches the ball at the free throw line area, making the right decision, whether it's a pass, shot, or drive. On the steal, Griffin going to take it in for two. First quarter, Connecticut a six-point lead on NC State. Collins can't finish it over Edwards. Crowd wanted a foul, and it did look like there may have been. Five-second difference game in shot clock. That three is good. Caden Samuels with a confident stroke. A 7-0 Connecticut run. A nine-point Connecticut lead. The clock is turned off here. Rivers draws a crowd, will fire, can't hit. And that will do it for the first quarter. Connecticut using a 7-0 run to end it to build a nine-point lead. And that was what really hurt NC State in this matchup a season ago. They had allowed Connecticut 27 points off turnovers. Wes Moore said taking care of the basketball transition defense were the biggest keys for his team today. See 
in for Connecticut. Ice Brady, number 25, as Connecticut has its first turnover on the first possession of the second. Here is Brooks, the crossover and the jumper. And especially when you're turning the basketball over, get your two best ball handlers out there. Here's Beckers giving it right back. Brady, catch, fire, no. And James back on the floor for NC State. Helps win the rebound for the Wolfpack. Rivers. Over to Maddie Cox. Younger sister of Lauren Cox. The former Baylor star. Look at Nika Mule battling down low as she's trying to defend Mimi Collins. Rivers jumper. Ooh. Anaya Rivers with eight points. Here's Mule. Good feed. Samuels again. And this is an ultra small lineup for UConn. Collins had it stripped by Fudd. Timed it perfectly. Mule with Brady, Becker, Samuels, Fudd. AZ Fudd to the corner. Samuels, not that time. Fudd looked like she had a putback if she wanted it. Instead resets. Gets open. And hit from three. Brady the offensive rebound and missed the bunny. And the rebound to Zoe Brooks. Oh, Emma is not thrilled on the sideline as Brooks bodies in for two. That was a really nice take under control by the freshman. Beckers goes back door and finishes. Nika Mule, who set a Connecticut single season record for most assists last year. Rivers gets fouled by Fudd. Caroline Ducharme going to come and get Caden Samuels. Here's James. At 19 points in the first quarter of NC State's opener. Zoe Brooks able to finish. It's a really fun backcourt for NC State. Yeah. Brooks comes in alongside Rivers. Fudd gets alone again. Can't hit. Has had some really good looks. Mule able to battle and win the board. Here's Ducharme airmailing it. Connecticut's had a lot of really good looks from three over the last few possessions. Cox will fire and hit. Three point game, Brady. Faces up, short. Rivers surging, taking, and gets the whistle. Sanaya Rivers will shoot two. The way his team has responded in this first half thus far. NC State shooting 52%. They just have seven fewer field goal attempts because of those early turnovers. I love the student section here, by the way. They're fantastic. Mallory <laughs> Collier, a freshman center, will check in for NC State. You know, speaking of the student section, somewhere around intros, I heard what sounded like a very real-sounding werewolf noise. And I think it was not pumped in. I think it was the student section as Rivers is going to make them explode with the steal and the finish. And NC State is tied it. Duchamp flips it in. I'm looking forward to the ball going out of bounds at some point so we can just replay that Rivers play. That was spectacular. Here's Cox on the attack, banking it home. Cox showing you her versatility, the three, and then the drive. By the way, Sanaya Rivers, 11 points in this first half for NC State as Beckers goes across her body to finish. Beckers up to 10. Thank you, Howell. Here is James, gets the whistle against Beckers, I believe, and that will be her second. They had, I felt like, four or five of those misses in the span of three possessions where they had a couple offensive rebounds and good looks as well. As James misses the second, and it's knocked out of bounds by Cox.
Becker's posting, finishing, plus the foul. And Paige Becker, well, you and I have talked about this off air before as well, Rebecca. Because Paige hasn't played that much basketball over the last couple of years, it's easy to forget just how incredible she was as a freshman. And performances by other players have made it you yeah. know, easier as well. But yes, <laughs> she's going to be reintroducing herself all season long. James in the corner. Beckers gets tripped up by James. That will be her third. Yeah, her foot just barely trips up Paige Beckers' toe. Beckers and Edwards both check out. Griffin as well. Arnold, Brady, Fudd, Samuels, Mule in for Connecticut. Here's Arnold. Pulls up. Can't hit the jumper. Brady active on the offensive glass, but NC State controls it. You can see the defensive pressure from KK Arnold. That is part of what she will bring to the table as a freshman for Connecticut this season. Here's Brooks. Off to Rivers. NC State hasn't led yet today. Have a chance to take the lead here as Rivers wiggles into another whistle. But she wants to get even better. Her mid-range is tight. She was one of 31 from three her freshman year, and she said, I have to be a three-level threat. That's where all of her time and attention went to in the offseason. And Rivers has just given NC State its first lead. Samuels, not that time. Rivers talked to us about feeling like her speed could be a factor today against Connecticut. It has been thus far. It is again there. Fine. It's a big jump. Gets blocked by Fudd. Here comes Mule running the break for Connecticut. Mule barrels in, can't finish. Samuels got her hands on him. Rivers swings it ahead, and Brooks puts it home. Samuels on the drive lays it in. Rivers cross court. Brooks. To Hayes, six to shoot in the corner. Collins can't hit, and Connecticut can hold for a final shot. Bud off to Arnold, who flips it in with three seconds to go in his first half. Brooks loses control, and that'll do it. For the first half of basketball, Connecticut takes a one-point lead in the locker room. We're making one move and not passing the ball. He wants more cutting, more movement, more aggression overall. He thinks NC State's the more aggressive team right now. All right, Hall, we'll see if UConn answers the bell here in the second half. And a whistle going the other way on Edwards. That will be her second personal. Here's Zoe Brooks. Off to Collins, her three, short. Brooks, the offensive board, and is tripped up. Meanwhile, the foul, and who was on was being reviewed. That's why we went to break there. There was a timeout, and it was changed. No longer a foul on Mule. Instead, it was a foul on Ducharme. And here, Edwards picks up her third. By the way, it was number two on Ducharme. Well, Sanaya Rivers, you know, Midnight Madness, you know, prime time with the pack. How about this? Sanaya Rivers throwing it down. Two-handed. At 6-1. She shouldn't take charges either. She should try to block every <laughs> shot. <laughs> Tied at 43. Beckers. 
zigging, zagging, and finishing. Boy, NC State is in the bonus already. Not even two minutes into the third quarter. And it matters right there. Beckers picks up her third. Last time Connecticut played a game here in Raleigh, you have to go back to November 24th of 2002. And Gino Auriemma have such respect for one another. Is Holly Rowe doing all of those games? <laughs> Probably. Here's Edwards. Leaning in, a lot of contact. No bucket. Rivers. Who's been a factor on the glass as well at that guard position. Loses her footing. Zoe Brooks. Beautiful pass out to Hayes. Who buries the three? Deckers looking to answer. And does. Up to 18 points. Rivers. Off to Hayes, Brooks settles. This might be one of those games where Beckers has to put the team on her back. Collins with a triple. Wes Moore has been working a lot with Mimi Collins on her shot. Trying to change her form, she delivers there. Griffin swivels inside, met two bodies, and travels. Collins. Rivers sizing up Beckers. Rivers elevates and knocks it down. Largest lead of the afternoon for NC State. Unranked to begin this season. Five-point edge on number two, Connecticut. Boy, they needed that. Missed her next four from downtown. Here's Hayes. Brooks trying to cut between two and Ooh, no whistle here as Rivers spins it in. Nika Mule took a shot. So that's why they're able to go back and take a look at that, but nothing there for them to call intentional. Beckers back to a cut, gets swatted by Collins, who is waiting. Brooks, the crossover, the lay is good. Becker's great kick to Samuels on a three. Third three. Three minutes to go in the third. NC State a surprising four-point lead. Collins turns and hits. That is a difficult shot for Mimi Collins. She's had some big moments in this third. Bud from 15, yeah. That's been the spot for her. <laughs> NC State has not beaten UConn since 1998. Here's Rivers. She got it! Since the first quarter, NC State has outscored UConn by 16. Edwards the spin, can't finish it. Samuels keeps it alive. Another chance here for Connecticut. Fudd on the drive out to Beckers. That's a charge. It just feels right now, Rebecca, like all the momentum is with NC State. But NC State has been up to the challenge thus far and then some. They've showed incredible toughness, resiliency, good D. As that's out of bounds. Last touch, Hayes. Here's K.K. Arnold. The freshman dips into the paint. Great setup for Edwards on the layup. Shot clock turned off. Five-point NC State lead. Brooks gets it back. Three seconds to go. Brooks has to hoist. Does. Can't hit. The NC State is crushing UConn on the boards right now. 33-21. to 21. They need some size and rebounding inside ASAP. Yeah, Mom. That is a massive difference on the glass as Edwards ended the third with a bucket, starts the fourth with one. 11 points now for Aaliyah Edwards. Beckers begins the fourth quarter on the bench. So does Griffin along with Newell. Rivers 
that time. Rebound pops to Baldwin. I think she'll be closer to 30 than the 25. I think that's fair. Edwards, another jumper. Always Mimi Collins. Collins getting ready to check in now. Here's Rivers. Off the haze into the corner. James connects. Out of three. Does a really nice job screening the top of the zone, getting Connecticut's defense in rotation and making the extra pass to the left corner. Well, Edwards used her foot to control that. That's going the other way. Rivers gets it to James. Two to shoot. Foul on the floor. Basket will not count. She might get to 31 minutes. She might. <laughs> Guess we got overtime. Enters at 24. Arnold checks out. And another kick from Edwards. Force who might have been a run out after a poor entry pass. And that one maybe saved the layup. Yeah. James gets loose and lays it in. Beckers stops and travels. Here's Rivers. Rivers leans in and gets fouled. Sanaya Rivers will shoot two. Sanaya Rivers, it feels like she can get a bucket or to the line almost any time she wants to. And Connecticut has tried a, a variety of defenders on her, and she's just that kind of elite scorer that hasn't been able to be slowed down. Rivers up to 25. Six of eight from the line. A 7-0 NC State run. Their lead is 10. Can taste a jubilant Sunday evening in Raleigh. Six and a half minutes for Connecticut to do something about it. Edwards gets blocked. That is the sixth block by NC State. It has been a block party for them all day long. From the guards, from the bigs. Collins on that rejection. Here's Fudd. Trying to go baseline, met by Hayes, throws it away. Rivers running, James plays it in. And Connecticut make a push. Beckers. That's going to be a charge on Beckers. Connecticut runs an offense that's hard to defend in here. Just steps, it moves. Fair call. Beckers was then getting an explanation from D. Cantor on that call. Feeling that James owned the spot. Here's Rivers. Gets free and lays it in. Edwards, deep catch. And spins it in. Cox off the Rivers. Her three missed it badly. And out of bounds to Connecticut. All right, we look forward to that matchup, L. Beckers serves it in. Back-to-back -back buckets from Connecticut. Rivers taking direction from Westmore on the sideline. James in the corner. You bet. And that was over the long arm of Aubrey Griffin. A really well contested shot. Ten points in the fourth for Isaiah James as Edwards draws a whistle. Edwards. Five of 12 in the second half. Edwards hits both. Lee Edwards up to 17 points. Connecticut trying to force some pressure here. James swiftly up the floor. Off to Baldwin. Baldwin's jumper is true. NC State has also played very unselfishly, making the right play seemingly every possession. Here's Fudd off to Edwards, spinning and laying it home. Malia Edwards has been Connecticut's offense in this fourth quarter. 
but on this end, and the Huskies get stops. Rivers the fake and missed the layup. An opportunity for Connecticut in transition. Here's Beckers, a three they need, and they have it. Eight point game. Bach is the friend of NC State. Sanaya Rivers goes right to the rim, uncontested. Lays it on 29 for Rivers. And a confusing defensive sequence for Connecticut. Samuels in the corner. Can't hit. Rivers spinning, dishing. James can't hit. Ford Hayes, another chance for NC State to run a little more clock. Rivers bounces, River, Baldwin gets fouled. Think about some of the players who have gotten into the national consciousness early with impressive performances through this first week of the season. And Sanaya Rivers bursting into that conversation as well. In the national championship game against Connecticut a couple of years ago for South Carolina. Huge afternoon here for Rivers. Baldwin hits both free throws. Becker's floater is good. Newell's going to foul. You think about what Rivers is about to do with one free throw. There you go. 30 points, 10 rebounds, 5 assists. That's a rare line if you're going to go through the annals of NC State, which of course we now have our researchers on. <laughs> This is a historic performance today from Sanaya Rivers. I guess and another offensive rebound, but a travel, and it's Connecticut basketball. 109 remaining in this fourth quarter. Samuels weaves around, kicks to the corner. Beckers, the floater is good. Paige Beckers has been terrific today, 27 points. On 11 of 16 from the floor as Mule fouls Rivers and Sanaya Rivers is going back to the strike. Well, they're going to be ranked tomorrow. Yes. Rivers misses the free throw. This is why you extend the game like this. It's that one. 31 points for Rivers. Got to go quick. Deckers behind the screen. Off to Samuels. Connecticut may be taking a little too much time here. Beckers hoist. Short. Rebound. Tipped out of bounds. Stays with Connecticut. Here's Beckers. Off to Edwards. Races in and lays it home. 30.6 to go. Rivers is down. First 30, 10, and 5 game in the Westmore era. For NC State, courtesy of Sanaya Rivers. <laughs> 32 points, 10 rebounds, 5 assists. She also has 3 blocks. Makes them both there. Huge free throws. Connecticut needs 3s, not 2s here. Beckers off to Samuels. Her 3 is good. Into James. James evades, floats. Time running, and now Hayes is fouled. Madison Hayes at the line. Hits the first. And again. NC State 20 of 26 from the strike. It is all cosmetic at this point. Fudge short. Rebound James, she's fouled by Edwards, let the celebration begin. <laughs> Westmore with the right stroke as well. Had Zoe Brooks on the floor in the third, had James all fourth. Both provided 
good production in this second half. James hits both. And for the first time since 1998, NC State has defeated UConn. 92-81, the final.